Hey guys, I'm going to let everybody file in here, um, get some viewers, and then I will get going today to um, take a final look at Iowa State and Baylor, which will tip off here in about two hours and 15 minutes from the Cathedral Hilton Coliseum. I'm obviously going to the game. I'm going to do this from here, take my time up, weather, all that good stuff, and then we'll be up to Hilton here before too stinking long. Real quick, let's hear from our friends at the Iowa Clinic. So my life gets crazy with Brooke and Blake and a husband that works 80 hours a day, I mean a week, and I decided to start my own business on top of it, which is insanely crazy. But thanks to the Iowa Clinic, they made it easy to see my doctor. And when I get there, she listens. So I feel like I have a partner. And before you know it, I can get back to my crazy, busy, insanely busy life where I have a busy business, busy husband, and busy twins. Oh, now where's Brooke? There she is. Care how you want it, visit iowaclinic.com. I spent way too much time at the Iowa Clinic lately. The sick kids and me being sick, it's just been unbelievable. But I hope you all are healthy here on New Year's Day 2021. A little weird to not just be sitting around watching football and going up to Hilton Coliseum. Um, finally, um, a, a top 10 basketball game. I, I cannot wait. I actually thought about staying in Orlando a little bit longer. This is before um, I had sick kids and stuff, but um, hell no. Getting back up to watch the clones, baby. All right, let's talk about this game. We don't need to really break down Baylor and Iowa State basketball at this point, right? Because we know we know pretty much everything we need to know at this point in the season. I've seen a lot of people go like, oh, they're finally going to get tested, meaning Iowa State. No, they're not. Iowa State is a tested unit. Iowa State is a tested basketball program. They belong. They deserve to be the eighth-ranked program in the country. Nathan, did I say 2021? I don't even know. I I don't even know what day it is. Happy 2022. Thanks for the correction. Iowa State is a proven team at this point. They've got good wins. Their resume is fantastic. They're not finally going to get tested today. If you hear somebody say that, reject it. The real test is going to come like a week and a half from now when you start piling these Big 12 games on top of one another. That's when the real test is going to come. Are you cut out for this, to play this style of ball with that level of physicality night in, night out against these level of teams? That's when it comes. So I have absolutely, um, I think Iowa State can beat Baylor today. I don't know if they will. In fact, I, I picked Baylor to win the game just because, ba listen, Baylor's one of my favorite programs in college basketball. Scott Drew used to be the laughing stock. All you guys on Twitter made fun of Scott Drew all the time. The guy can't coach. The guy just he cheats, brings in all these one and dones. Yeah, look at him now. You know, and he has completely, like, turned himself into, like, a world-class basketball coach, program builder, uh, as good of a roster builder, not named Mark Few, as there is in the country. And I love watching Baylor play, and I hope that Iowa State and under TJ can, you know, grasp a hold of that mentality. I think that's the direction things are going here, and it fires me up. Like watching an old Big East team, baby. And I love it. But I have a lot of respect for Baylor, and I, I really do. They're, they're quite frankly, they're one of my top five favorite programs in the country. I really, really, really respect the way that Scott Drew has built that thing up and, and how they play basketball. So, with that, what do you expect from today's game? People argue argue anything. It, I, I had these guys, they were upset on Twitter. Shocking. Uh, a couple guys were in my feed, and one guy was like, oh, just to um, be within single digits here would be a win for Iowa State. And then the other guy was like, well, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a loser mentality. Well, and it, like. And I guess I kind of agree with them. Um, listen, I, I again, I, I pick Baylor to win today, but I think it'll be close. And I think Iowa State could very well win the game. I think Hilton Coliseum is going to be electric. I think this is going to be like an all-time great crowd. It sucks students aren't going to be there, but oftentimes you get been to enough of these games that are really big that the, the folks who file in down there where the students normally sit are not your average Bears. They're, and that's the people we like at Hilton Coliseum. So I think a different type of crowd, I think a very educated crowd today that is nuts. It's not running in there. 
like the students do right when the thing opens, but they're, it's like a very like angry old school type of cyclone fan that may not have a ton of money, but they take advantage when they can get down there. You know, um, that, so that's what I'm expecting. I, I just, yeah, I don't, it, it's such a confusing spot for Iowa state basketball fans to be in right now because of last year. But then like, Guys, look at the team. There's nothing similar. I mean, you've got George Condit and you've got Trey Jackson. That's it. I mean, that, that's the, that's literally the only thing back from the team. So, like, block that out of your mind. And the, here's the problem, too, and I was arguing with a friend about this this week. Like, Ken Palm, he's got to update his algorithm. Because right now, I mean, Iowa State's 45 or whatever it is in Ken Palm. But it's still reflecting the 2-22 and 22 from last year. This team doesn't have anything to do with that. All right? So I I think it's time. Let's clean the slate. Zero and zero. You've got a hell, you know, of a deal in your back pocket where you can go seven and eleven in the Big Twelve and probably make the NCAA tournament. But we should not be settling for that because this team has earned the right to go out there and compete for a Big Twelve championship, as far fetched as that might seem. And it all starts today. That's my message. Can you give me some loves, like the little love things up on Facebook? Because I thought that was a really good message. Honestly, I thought that that was elite commentary that I just gave you guys. Again, I'll pick Baylor to win because they are the best team in the country. But I think that there's a really decent chance that this Iowa State crowd wills this team to win. We'll see. I mean, uh, it'll be – this team and fouling is going to be interesting in these types of games. Uh, but we'll, I, I just have too much respect for Baylor to just blindly pick Iowa state here. But again, this isn't like, don't, don't listen to your friend who goes, Oh, they're finally going to get tested. That's not true. They've been tested and they've passed every test with flying colors. This team belongs in the top 10 right now. The real test comes on Wednesday night and then on Saturday. And, you know, when you start just that Big 12 gauntlet over and over and over and over, that's the test. Don't listen to the idiots. This is a real team, and I can't wait to get there today. Real quick, let's hear from Larry. Hey, Larry. So the school doesn't matter, the success of the program. Yeah. It deals more with the heart of the players on the floor. Baylor will lose this game. I don't think that's fair. I mean, that Baylor won a national championship last year. How, who says they don't have heart? I've watched Baylor play a lot. I think they have a lot of heart. I mean, I don't, I don't know any of those guys, but like, I don't, I don't think that's fair. Uh, well, King, no, yeah, okay. Let me explain the Trey King thing to everybody. And sorry for that type of reaction. I didn't mean to be rude. Trey King cannot play this year. I don't know why everybody. A handful of people think that he could he he's next year. Next year, second semester is when Trey King will be eligible for the Cyclones. So let's all help one another and correct people when they think he can play. He's not playing this year, next year, because he started the first semester at Georgetown. Get that this year. So then that means he started this academic year, which pushes everything to next year. Hopefully they'll get a waiver so he could play at the beginning of next year. That's the that's the goal there with Trey King. Sound good? All right. I better head up to Hilton. Um, dad told me the weather's not bad yet. He said it'll be bad. My dad's like the chief meteorologist of the Williams house. And he says that it's going to be bad on the way home. So be careful. Don't be idiots. All that good stuff. Um, let's uh let's go clones, baby. Love y'all. Happy New Year. Stay uh, warm and safe, and hopefully I'll see some of you guys out of Hilton here in a couple hours. Later.